Yo, what's up everybody? It's David Rador, aka Brilli, and I'm really excited today to show you this tutorial because the render network now accepts Cinema 4D files. And this, once again, has really improved my workflow and saves me ton of time. If you've watched my work, filed along with me, watched my tutorials, you know I am obsessed with the render network. And now I'm even more obsessed because it's saving me even more time. So instead of just having to upload an Orbix file to the render network, you can now upload a native Cinema 4D file. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through what it takes to save out and upload your Cinema 4D file directly to the render network to start saving you tons of time. Let's go. All right, so one of the first things I wanted to show is really just the massive speed increase that we gain by being able to save out just a Cinema 4D file and upload that onto the render network. What I'm showing you here is me exporting out an Orbix file. And that was the standard way that you had to save every project that would go up onto the render network. This scene actually took 12 minutes to export an Orbix file. However, when I saved the project out in Cinema 4D with assets, which is the new method that you can use to upload your project, it was virtually instant. All right, so now let's jump right into it. And I'm gonna show you how to prepare your scenes properly for submission to the render network. This scene I created all from scratch. And there was a few things that required kind of a simulation. And you wanna look out for these because the simulations all have to be baked down or cached. And any simulation will be needed to be baked out that requires a previous frame to know what the next frame is doing. So any kind of dynamics, as well as delay effectors, jiggle deformers, and other pieces like this will need to be cached and baked out. Fortunately for some other trickier animations, you can also export out an Alembic file, which is what I did here. So the main part of the animation, that main structure, I was able to bake out with an Alembic file in my scene. I do this most of the time anyway, because my scene file gets really slow and the playback performance is not that great. So I typically will export an Alembic file anyway. So there's not really an extra step for me here. The next thing we have to do is collect all of our assets into one folder, really simply by just going to File, Save Project with Assets, and choose the location you want those assets to collect to. It's always important to double check all your assets are collected in the right location. Even though we said, you know, to save the project with assets, it's important to jump into the folder and make sure that they're in there. And then second, important to go back into Cinema 4D and open up your project asset inspector and make sure everything's collected correctly and all your file paths are set up correct. And to make sure your files are set up correctly in the project asset inspector, we're just really looking for the path and making sure that they're represented using a relative path and not an absolute path and you can see this in the path column if you see some assets still using absolute path it's not that big of a deal you just need to select those assets and go to localize file names if for some reason that doesn't work either you need to make sure the files were in fact copied over to the collected folder if they're not just select the assets and choose assets consolidate assets and then this is going to bring all your assets into the project folder and you can choose localized file names again if necessary and now just make sure you save the project again control s or option s depending on mac or pc it won't mess anything up to save the project again because it's going to just be saving it into the new location that you collected all the files to. Again, I'd like to go into the Explorer Finder window and just check my collected file and make sure everything's in there. The other important thing is to make sure that your file name as well as the folder name are labeled the same thing. So your Cinema 4D file and your Cinema 4D folder that it collected to need to be labeled the same exact name before we upload it to the render network. The render network is going to look at that folder and find the file inside that has the same name. After that, we can simply add it to a zip folder before we upload it to the render network. This will make the upload process go even quicker. So now let's hop onto the render network. The render network is rndr.x.io. That'll also be linked in the description. Now let's go over to scenes and begin to upload our project. You can drag and drop or click directly to upload your file. Since we're dealing with the Cinema 4D project, we're going to choose Cinema 4D, the .c4d file, and then click on confirm. After this, your project is going to be uploaded and processed. Once it's uploaded, we can start by selecting a new job. And you'll see right next to it, it says create a new job in an orange tab. 
Now we'll hop into the job submission form. And in the job submission form, the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that we set the resolution properly. It's also important to check the frame rate and really every other thing that's in there. Make sure it's all correct. So go through everything and make sure everything's set up. In the next window, select the file format you want. For mine, I'm gonna choose an EXR and then move on to the network settings. Once you're in the network settings, you can choose your desired tier, payment and approval method, and then choose the minimum VRAM amount for the nodes, depending on the requirements for your project. It's really easy to find them simply by just looking in your live viewer. In Octane, it will be located in the bottom. After that, we can proceed on to the next window, which gives you a cost estimate after you enter your machine's Octane bench score and how long the frames took to render on your machine. After that, just hit the Create Job button and you'll be put into the queue to begin your rendering. Now we just let the render network performance magic, and get our frames back super quick. I always jump in, check all my frames, and make sure they're good to go before downloading it. You should do that too. This is what I made for my final render. This new way of submitting with the Cinema 4D file is even more awesome because it, you can also render out standard as well as physical renders now on the render network. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you really start to utilize the render network like I have and have it change your entire workflow, save you money on your own computing power because now you can leverage the power of the render network and uh, definitely share with me some render results that you get some animations and your experiences with the render network. Thank you again, everyone. Stay tuned for more.